Hello, hello, I'm Marie Fashionista Sherry. And if you watched my last video, you totally know that I got this dress from the Halloween rack at the thrift shop, but I actually want to wear it as like a normal dress. It's, I don't think this is a Halloween costume. It's too gorgeous to be a Halloween costume. Anyways, it's um too tight in my chesticle area. So we've got to upsize it and if you remember from the previous video, it is all um, like sun, sun bleached here on this area. So we got to dye it too. So let's just go do that. But first, please pay attention during this video because I have a very exciting little announcement that I shall be sharing at some point during this tutorial. <laughs> For this quick and easy, absolutely fantastic, no so transforming and upsizing project, all you need is your garment that is too tight in your chesticle area, and of course, your handy dandy seam ripper. Now, as I mentioned, I do have to dye this, so I was pretty disappointed when I popped to my local dollar store and they didn't have any green dye. I really want to keep with the green theme going here, so I popped to the big box store and of course, they had loads of green dye at a larger price to be sure but it says on the back here that this bottle can do between two and four different projects depending on how much fabric it is so hopefully I'm gonna get at least one more out of this and I've never used this so I am 100% gonna be following the instructions now it says to fill a sink or a bucket with very hot water and give this a super duper shake so that's exactly what I'm doing with my fancy schmancy rubber gloves on of course and I'm going to use about half of the bottle because it this is a maxi dress it has a lot of fabric it also said to put about a teaspoon of dish soap which is interesting so hopefully that's going to do something and it said to add salt which is as you know a tip I got from my grandma years and years ago then I'm going to give it all a great big stir to mix it all up I just use an old paint stirrer and now it is time to get this dress dress into the dye bath and as always just make sure you are folding it in and really giving it a lot of good agitation. I left mine in for about three hours and as you can see the embroidery actually did not take any of the dye which is fantastic so now I'm going to rinse it with cool water until the water gets pretty clear that's going down the drain now it's time to head on over to my handy dandy washing machine and launder as usual and of course hang to dry Ta-da! How absolutely stunning is this? There is no more sun bleaching on the skirt part whatsoever. And because all of these embroidered threads here were polyester, it seems, they did not take the dye at all, which means it looks even more stunning because the darker green makes the embroidery stand out even more. So now it is time to upsize this without any sewing at all. Now this technique only works if you have the double seams on the inside of your garment. So you can see here the outside seam was surged, but then we also have this interior seam and that is what we are going to be removing. And this should give me at least two or three more centimeters of space, which is all I need. So this technique absolutely does work when you just need that little bit of extra room to make the garment more comfortable. And I actually shared a video about how well this works on trousers so I will link that down below for you but all you have to do is figure out where you need to be removing your seams and so for me I'm going to do along the shoulders and the sleeves and on the sides of the bodice here because that's where I need that little bit of extra space and then you just take your handy seam ripper and remove if I can get it yes this interior second seam and of course you absolutely do want to leave the exterior finished edge here and if you do 
have a sewing machine or are proficient with hand sewing, you can, of course, make this seam extra strong and sturdy by simply stitching over it again if you're at all worried about it coming apart, but it's not absolutely necessary, and this means this is a totally no-sew refashion, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of my secondary interior seams here, and then we're going to see what it looks like. So I just want to show you how truly easy this is. Once you get started with removing your seam, you should be able to just pull, like look at this, I'm just pulling and it all that thread, look you can just rip it off there, has come off and look at that, I have increased the size of my sleeve here by about a full centimeter, which is actually quite a bit when you think that this is going to be on both sides. So truly my bodice is going to be upsized by two centimeters, which as I said is more than enough. So I also went ahead and removed that interior seam from the armhole seam and with this one I did do a quick straight stitch as close to the edge here of the serge seam as I could get without going over it of course just for that little bit of extra security but as I said if you don't sew or you don't have a sewing machine don't worry about it you don't have to do this. Because those decorative ties were about a meter long, I did go ahead and chop them to my desired length and then I simply knotted the ends and kind of floofed them up and frayed them up a little bit below the knot and it's perfect. I put on my best fairy makeup and accessories and then went outside to frolic with my fellow woodland creatures. <laughs> By the way, did you notice the little clip I snuck in earlier that was announcing the arrival of my latest print book, Eco-Friendly Living Made Easy? It is absolutely beautiful. It came out so well and it's yet another book I am super proud to have created. I packed it with practical tips, clever DIYs, easy to follow projects. It is going to be your go-to resource to get started reducing waste, embracing secondhand shopping, and transforming everyday items into reusable stylish alternatives. I even put in here skincare recipes, eco-friendly cleaning hacks, and of course everything is affordable and and you may have all the ingredients and tools lurking around your house. And of course, it is available on Amazon worldwide. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I'll catch ya on the zigzag. This is Confessions of a Refashionista.